coffee here at Cherry's Jubilee. This is our first year in business, so it's our first year at Cherry's Jubilee. And we're awful excited to be here and to let people see some of our products. We have our cinnamon rolls, which are one of our most popular pastries, and four of our great single origin coffees, roasted by Goodman Coffee Roaster in Chattanooga. And we also have a couple of our herbal teas, two of our most popular. This one's the Herbal Energizer. I don't know if you can pan down to see it. It looks really nice from the right angle, but it's a, a mix of a lot of different herbs. And then this is our Raspberry Lavender, which has actual lavender in it. People really seem to like that. It's getting really popular uh, now that it's getting warm. People are enjoying it iced in the afternoons. And we're having a great time here at Cherry's Jubilee. This is our fifth year coming to Cherry's Jubilee and my wife used to be part of the committee and uh, I live next door to almost and to uh, Nancy Kaysen so she gets mad if I don't come but uh, this is one of the most fun events that we have each year and appreciate that the money goes to help the arts and the schools and, and that's probably the best thing and our reason for coming. and I've been doing Cherry's Jubilee for about 10 years now. Um, I really like doing it. It's one of my favorite things uh, as far as charities go and to have money go to back to the schools for projects that the school systems can't afford to do. I just think it's a lot of fun and a lot of great people are doing it and it's, uh, it's fun to be here and see everyone and see all the wonderful projects. Education Committee for going on 18 years and, and I'm the president of the Allied Arts Council this year so this event is near and dear to my heart personally all the money that's raised here at Cherry's um, goes to the Arts and Education Committee and we get to spend it and put that money back into our school's art program so we're very proud of this event thankful for all of the people coming out to support it over the years. This is the 21st year and, and it's, it's a good crowd and we're just happy to be here and see all of the support for Allied Arts. from the Lee University event management class. So this has been a really cool opportunity for us the past couple days we've been here. We've been able to set up for the event and kind of just see how this whole thing um, is laid out. And tonight we're just helping um, out with the event. We're excited to be here. It's our first time and we think it's going great so far. to this whole event that I like would never have imagined but it's been really cool and never been to like I've never been to anything like this in Cleveland so it's really neat to just see like the community come out and see all the different caterers and stuff like that. When they originally told us about this event um, they told us that it was going to be hard it was going to be stressful but we've had a lot of fun planning this and like sitting in um, volunteering and making this happen and so it's cool now to like look around and see all the art pieces that people have contributed and see all the 
caterers that are here and just see the event finally come to life. So we're doing A-OK. -okay. So this is our 19th year at Cherry's Jubilee. I started this company in 2001 and we started uh, that very year. Um, we've only taken one year off. We couldn't make it last year. Uh, this is one of our favorite fundraising events, uh, what it does for our schools and uh, arts in the schools. And uh, so it has a really um, uh, a, a soft place in my heart. started um, on Market Street and then a couple years later we moved to, uh, we had a store open um, off of Gun Barrel and now this is our first time moving into Cleveland. We opened the 23rd of this month um, so we're really excited about it. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know much about um, this but I'm really excited about it. This is a big turnout. I didn't actually realize this was going to be so huge and uh, just seeing like everyone involved in the community is really cool. to be a part of this Cherry's Jubilee event for the first time for me, but it's wonderful to see how artists come together to try to foster art in the lives of young people here in our school system. We encourage all of you to come and be a part of an event like this. I was happy to be able to make a table. Uh, it's going to be part of the live auction event. It's for Trek Through Truth in celebration of one of the Bible stories uh, that people know, Pharaoh's Frogs, and uh, it's an interactive game table for kids to play. Again, it's great to be here and be a part of this great event. Super excited to be here. We've got our sausage and pimento appetizer. We also have some black eyed pea hummus. We're really, really, really excited to support art history and give back to the community and just be a part of this event. And we hope to be back next year. My name is Joyce Smith. I'm a Cherries Jubilee artist. This is actually my third year doing Cherries. I had a little gap there. I did the 2016, 2017, missed our 2018, but I'm here for 2019. And in the past, I've done it through Cleveland High School, but we've actually convinced Cleveland State to get involved in it again, where I am now. And um, I've been working in collaboration with the Cleveland State Community College uh, Student Art League under uh, the sponsor, Mr. Mark McLeod, Professor Mark McLeod. Um, yeah, no, I love what Cherries is about. I love art and I love giving back, especially to the schools. And I think now more than ever, we need to raise money for those arts programs. Come to Cherries Jubilee. If you're not here now, come next year. It's awesome, it's a yearly thing. And we get that money back. So come here, come bid on some beautiful artwork and eat some good food, enjoy the nice April weather. <laughs> My name is Jim Brinkmeyer and my wife and I have been coming to this event for all but maybe three or four in the last 21 years 
and uh, we love it and support it our, because, for one reason, because our daughter is an artist and an art teacher, and uh, the bird houses, I, uh, I bought the first one at the auction, uh, and I've got uh, four others since then, and when this uh, is the last one that will be presented, uh, I thought, well, I cannot let it go. Uh, I let others go, but this one uh, I refused to. So uh, we had a great bidding, and uh, that's my story. We're here tonight at the museum at Five Points in our beautiful downtown Cleveland to uh, celebrate with the Allied Arts tonight for Cherry's Jubilee. It's a fantastic cause. There's always fantastic artists who do fantastic work for our city. It's a great way to raise money and I'm thankful to be here. Seven twenty-five. Sold for seven. 